V. Foreign exporter refers to one whose name appears on documentation attesting to the export of the product to the Philippines regardless of the manufacturer's name in the invoice. W. Free zone refers to special economic zones registered with the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, PESA, under Republic Act No. 7916 as amended, duly chartered or legislated special economic zones and free ports such as Clark Freeport Zone, Poro Point Freeport Zone, John Hay Special Economic Zone, and Subic Bay Freeport Zone under Republic Act No. 7227 as amended by Republic Act No. 9400, the Aurora Special Economic Zone under Republic Act No. 9490 as amended, the Cagayan Special Economic Zone and Freeport under Republic Act No. 7922, the Zamboanga City Special Economic Zone under Republic Act No. 7903, the Freeport Area of Bataan under Republic Act No. 9728 and such other free ports as established or may be created by law. X. Goods refer to articles, wares, merchandise, and any other items which are subject of importation or exportation. Y. Goods declaration refers to a statement made in the manner prescribed by the Bureau and other appropriate agencies by which the persons concerned indicate the procedure to be observed in the application for the entry or admission of imported goods and the particulars of which the Customs Administration shall require. Z. Importation refers to the act of bringing in of goods from a foreign territory into a Philippine territory, whether for consumption, warehousing, or admission as defined in this Act. Double A. Freight forwarder refers to a local entity that acts as a cargo intermediary and facilitates transport of goods on behalf of its client without assuming the role of a carrier, which can also perform other forwarding services such as booking cargo space, negotiating freight rates, preparing documents, advancing freight payments, providing packing or crating, trucking and warehousing, engaging as an agent or representative of a foreign non-vessel operating as a common carrier or cargo consolidator named in a master bill of lading as a consignee of a consolidated shipment and other related undertakings. Double B. International Freight Forwarder refers to persons responsible for the assembly and consolidation of shipments into single lot and assuming, in most cases, the full responsibility for the international transport of such shipment from point of receipt to the point of destination. Double C. Jurisdictional control refers to the power and rights of the Bureau in exercising supervision and police authority over all seas within the jurisdiction of the Philippine territory and over all coasts, ports, airports, harbors, bays, rivers, and inland waters, whether navigable or not, from the sea. Double D. Lodgement refers to the registration of a goods declaration with the Bureau. Double E, non-vessel operating common carrier or NVOCC, refers to an entity which may or may not own or operate a vessel that provides a point-to-point -point service which may include several modes of transport and or undertakes group age of less container load, shipments and issues, the corresponding transport document. Double F. Outright smuggling refers to an act of importing goods into the country without complete customs prescribed importation documents or without being cleared by customs or other regulatory government agencies for the purpose of evading payment of prescribed taxes, duties, and other government charges. Double G. 
Perishable good refers to goods liable to perish or goods that depreciate greatly in value while stored or which cannot be kept without great disproportionate expense which may be proceeded to, advertised, and sold at auction upon notice if deemed reasonable. Double H. Port of entry refers to a domestic port open to both domestic and international trade including principal ports of entry and subports of entry. A principal port of entry is the chief port of entry of the customs district wherein it is situated and is the permanent station of the district collector of such port. Subports of entry are under the administrative jurisdiction of the district collector of the principal port of entry of the customs district. Port of entry, as used in this act, shall include airport of entry.